Hi, I'm Duncan Sheik, and you're in Launch. And come check out my performance over in The Hang. When I was a, a sophomore uh, at Brown, I, uh, I, was, I played lead guitar for Lisa Loeb in her band at that time, which was called Liz and Lisa. She had a, a singing partner. So um, that was, it was really fun, because uh, most of the time, I've spent most of my life like with my four-track recorder or in some little studio kind of turning knobs by myself and uh, and so it was cool to finally get on stage you know have a little bit of experience on stage in the 90s uh, alternative rock had become this kind of monolithic guitar driven thing and I you know which is interesting to me sometimes but only to a certain point so I wanted to make a, you know I wanted to make a record that that offered another aesthetic point of view in terms of what could be done within the world of alternative rock music and you know just to show that you can be you know you can be subtle and, and still be very powerful I'm kind of a lyrical procrastinator like I, I, I write a lot of music and, and uh, I get a lot of musical ideas and melodic ideas, chordal things. But when it comes to words, I always wait till the track is like completely recorded and then I kind of come up with something, throw them on there. Definitely when I was 15, 16, I was listening to the Blue Nile and Cocktail Twins and David Sylvian and the, and the, late, the later Talk Talk records, you know. Those are real uh, important albums for me. And then later on, I got back into some of the folk stuff from before, you know, from the late 60s and early 70s. When I was 12 years old, I, I, I was in this cover band. And, uh, <laughs> and it was like more of a hard rock thing. It was like Van Halen. And, and, but I think we even played like Loverboy covers and stuff. So it was really, uh, it was a beautiful thing, let me tell you. I have this side project thing that I want to do um, that's, that's much more of like an electronic album almost, and maybe not even vocal, and it wouldn't be called Duncan Chic, it would just be something else, and something more, uh, much more modern and, and kind of uh, avant-garde, minimalist. I do do a lot of stuff with computers. Um, and sampling keyboards and analog keyboards and stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm definitely into that side of things. I, I'm, I'm a practicing Buddhist, actually, and so a lot of, a lot of these shows that I've played around the country, there have been many Buddhists who've come, and, uh, you know, and they're so sweet and sincere, and they're like, you know, they've been really moved by, by the whole thing. So that, that makes me feel amazing.